Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. Um, I'm looking at this MAGA Super Bowl suffers lowest ratings in decade, and it's probably Black people's fault. Well, you're absolutely right because we're boycotting the NFL. And we're boycotting the Super Bowl. And proud of it for those who have joined in the boycott against the NFL for the mistreatment of black athletes, including Colin Kaepernick. This is the compare, this tweet is comparing the rate and the overall ratings from the Super Bowl this past Sunday. So, the highest happened in 2015, but see, as the years goes by, we now go to this year, 2019, where the ratings were as low as 44. Now, let's go back to 2015, 49.7 when the Patriots took on the Seahawks. Now, the Patriots take on the Rams, and we see a, like a four or five point dip, or a 4.5 to five point dip in the ratings. 44.9, that's the overall ratings of the Super Bowl from this past Sunday. And I have to say I'm very happy. This is the result of people still not watching the Super Bowl, people still not watching the NFL, and people still being part of the NFL boycott. The reason why these boycotts are happening is because black people are tired of the mistreatment in this country, Kaepernick took a knee to protest against police brutality and they blackball him, still do, that's why they're, he, there's a case against the NFL by Kaepernick. Meanwhile, us in the grassroots were boycotting the NFL. We heard that they didn't even score a lot of points. It's the lowest scoring Super Bowl. Oh, look, it even says it right here. 5.2%. I'm not really going to read this article. And unfortunately, no, I'm not, yeah, I'm not even going to read this article. Don't even need to. All I got to do is just show these numbers. This is telling you that we are making an impact with this boycott against the NFL and at least against the Super Bowl. Uh, they continue the Super the NFL continues to mistreat athletes like Kaepernick and we can't take it no more. So I hope that next year's Super Bowl and the years after these ratings continue to get lower and lower They thought that putting black people to perform with Maroon 5 and singing the national anthem was going to help. Nope. In fact, what had happened was oh, those now people are calling out those black performers. Yeah, I hope they get what they want. I hope they get paid real good because some of these, uh, those performers, a lot of people are so-called canceling them, meaning they're going to boycott them as well, including no longer buying or paying for their music or putting their music on their iPhones, on their, uh, and if they happen to hear them on the radio, they'll probably turn the volume down so until the song is over or just change the radio station. Because they do not want to hear the the uh the um those who performed at the halftime show or sang the national anthem 
because they're now traitors and that's and they deserve they deserve it because we told them that the NFL has a racial tension against black people and they they wanted to still perform do a minstrel show and guess what their minstrel show didn't work because people still decided not to watch the NFL. According to this, this rating is went three, like three rating points down from last year's Super Bowl. Like I said, look at these numbers. Now, ironically, it's not the lowest. The lowest one was actually in 2019 with 42.1, but still, but back then you didn't hear a lot about the situation that's going on, but still, people are not watching the Super Bowl, the ratings are going down, I bet you will be as equally like this next year, or lower, which we're actually hoping will happen, that the ratings will go down even lower. So yeah, this is exactly what the NFL gets for their mistreatment of black athletes and their mistreatment of Kaepernick and their mistreatment of the black fans, the black viewers and black people in true general and thinking that our issues are not a big problem. And I hope the ratings continue to go down, and I hope more people join in the boycott. It's time they be held accountable from the, for their evil. But that's all I have to say for now. Write down in the comment section what you think about this. Um, that's all I have to say for now. Also share this video for anyone that may be interested. But that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.